common pathway is a six and a half mile long rail trail, which runs through Peterborough, New Hampshire. The northern trailhead is located across from Scott Mitchell Road and has a large parking area. From the parking area, there's a path that leads to the main trail. You can either go under the highway and head north, or next to the highway and head south. Heading north, the trail glances by the Cook River and passes the Recycling Center and Sanitation Lane. According to trail maps, the end is one-tenth of a mile beyond Sanitation Lane. So this trail obviously goes further than a tenth of a mile beyond Sanitation Lane. I'm not really sure what's that way, what parking you could find, but hey, you know, feel free, go and explore it. But for today's purposes, we're going to call this bridge the end point of the north section and continue south from here so we can get the rest of the trail. Once back at the highway underpass, Aries and I began heading south. So as you can see in this area here, the path actually becomes a sidewalk along Route 202. And that's because I believe the railroad, when it was still in existence, not only did it cross the road there, but it shared this part of the road because 202, uh, back when it was first built, was a lot smaller and may not even been considered an actual highway. But right up here, it starts to branch off again. The trail enters the woods for about four tenths of a mile. So as you get towards the end of this wooded area, you'll first see a little stone wall on your right. And then you see that the trail opens up here. The trail crosses near a condo complex here and then heads back into the woods. So you can probably tell by the mood of this video and by looking at my hair and at Aerie's fur that it's a somewhat dark and drizzly day. But you know, it really, it kind of enhances the feeling of this trail, especially when it gets out into the woods like this. It's a nice relaxing feel. As long as it doesn't downpour on us, I'll be, I'll be all right. From the condo complex, the trail travels about eight tenths of a mile through the woods. When you get to Tarbell Road in Nichols Lane, the trail again shares the road for a quarter of a mile before breaking off again at the intersection of Tarbell Road and Hunt Road. The trail follows close to Summer Street here and offers a sitting area. So it looks to me like if you wanted to, you could come right along in here and park next to the trail. A quarter of a mile later, the trail again briefly shares the road before breaking. Here you'll find the next parking area. And something that I like about this parking area is it has dedicated handicap parking. It's actually a little ramp that goes down and this trail right in here is paved as you can see, which is excellent because again, this is another trail that's fully handicapped accessible. And <laughs> look at this little marker, 5292. Something I've noticed about this trail is that in regards to actual remnants of the railroad itself, there are very few. They did an excellent job at cleaning this trail up. Soon after the parking area, the trail rounds a bend, crosses a bridge, and heads back towards the road. For the next one and a half miles, the trail again shares the road space as it heads toward and through Peterborough Center. As you continue, take in the surroundings. Six tenths of a mile from where the path and road merge, you'll spot a little pull-off. And right next to this pull-off, you will see the old abutments for where the rail bridge used to cross. See one there, and then way over there, it's the other one. In the river down below, you can see old wooden posts that have been chopped off. 
that was part of the wooden trestle that spanned the river here. Two tenths of a mile beyond the old trestle is Peterborough Center. So as you're in Petersboro, you can see that there is some street parking here, two hours. So that would give you a lot of time to go up or down the trail if you want. The trail continues up Main Street and left onto Grove Street. You'll find even more parking if you want. Continue up the hill and to the traffic light, half a mile from the start of Grove Street. After crossing, continue up Grove Street another quarter mile to where the trail again splits. The trail travels another six tenths of a mile to its end at Noon Falls. And it looks to me like Aries and I are now getting to the end of the trail. So if you're looking for a well-maintained trail that the vast majority of it is asphalt and never gets too far away from the main roads while entering some nice woods, then I'd say that the common pathway is right for you. What do you see? Hmm? Oh, I see what you see. You see yourself. <laughs>